Okay, fellow food lovers and sandwich enthusiasts, here in New York for this challenge, we had five. So number five. I like sandwiches. I love sandwiches, especially New York sandwiches. Yes, Those. me too. I think we both agree Number five sandwich on this list was pastrami queen. Yeah. It was okay, but come on, you know, we're in New York. Let's yeah. have a really good pastrami sandwich. This was an okay pastrami sandwich. It's Let's certainly better than anything we get back home, yeah. but. We're back on the Upper East Side. We are in front of pastrami queen. Now pastrami queen was founded in 1956. That was, uh, it, it's basically a kosher place. It, they have uh, certified kosher meats and foods and all kinds. They make latkes, they make pastrami, they make matzo ball soup, they make kreplach, they have great pickles, and I have some people who've told me this is the best pastrami in town. Now, I personally love Katz's, but I'm willing to keep an open mind and try pastrami queen. I know there are people who think pastrami queen makes the best pastrami in town. I disagree. Yeah. Yeah. I disagree. It was okay. Yeah, We're back in Greenwich Village today. We're in front of Alidoro. Alidoro is an Italian sandwich shop, pure and simple. They're actually known for their sandwich, the Pinocchio, which is a, made of a whole bunch of Italian meats and cheeses, and they bake their bread fresh every day here. This is supposedly an excellent sandwich. It was established in 1986. It's very popular. It's right here in Greenwich Village. I like that you named your sandwiches after like movies and TV characters. Most of them are named after people and, you know, some, you know, movies and stuff like that. Yeah. But then we have some that are named after uh, people that we, that, uh, that you know, that we know as well. Oh, that's cool. Like the, um, yeah, the Matthew and Millis are named after um, our landlords. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they give you a break on the rent for that? all kinds of meats and fresh mozzarella on a home-baked semolina bread. Semolina pasta is uh, typical pasta flour. They bake bread out of pasta flour here. That's a good sandwich. It's got roasted red peppers in there, which is really good. And the meats and cheeses go really well with the peppers and the bread's soft. It's a nice sandwich. I think I agree with you. I think. Uh, number four was probably Alidoro. Alidoro was a good sandwich. It wasn't a great sandwich, but it was it was pretty good. The, the ingredients were all quality, and the bread was fresh baked, and that made it taste really good. We enjoyed Alidoro in general. The combination was good. It was a good, tasty Italian sandwich. The roasted peppers made it taste even better. Yeah, you know, I mean, I I thought it was it was good. I'd get it again. Um, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. I'd get it again, it was good. Yeah, and I'd get it again. We're at Court Street Grocers in the NYU area of New York. Now, as you can see behind me, they have a whole bunch of sandwiches, and a lot of them look really classic. They have things like a turkey club, which is supposedly the most popular sandwich of all their sandwiches. But they also have a Taylor ham sandwich. They have uh, a droopy, which is horseradish and roast beef. They have tuna sandwiches. Um, I think we're going to try the Italian combo, which is mortadella, soppressata, Swiss mozzarella, pecorino romano, hoagie relish, arugula, onion, red wine, and mayonnaise on a nice submarine roll. 
I think that sounds good to me. I'm kind of in the mood for a good Italian sandwich, but let's not forget this place is supposed to have wonderful, all kinds of wonderful sandwiches. Hi. They have even more sandwiches on the menu inside. Now I had to arm wrestle with Young to avoid having to get the anchovy sandwich, which she was just drooling over. And I'm not getting that, I'm sorry, I'm not eating fish. I just tasted the cup of cola. Tastes good, like what you'd get in a nice uh, muffaletta in New Orleans. So let's try it. Mm. It's creamy, it's salty, it's funky. It's a really good Italian sandwich. There's arugula in it that gives it a nice, uh, a light substance to it. But the cheeses and the meats together work really well. Plus there's an olive salad in it that makes it taste really good. Okay, so the original Court's Grocers opened in Brooklyn in 2010. They've since expanded to a number of stores all over New York. This is their only location in Manhattan. They're known specifically for their sandwiches. And the Italian sandwich that we got is one of them. The Turkey Club, which I mentioned before, is another one that people really love. And they have a bologna special that people rave about. So. If you're interested in coming, this is the only one that actually has seating inside in the store. So if you're not in the mood to go eat it in a park, you can come here. This is the only one in Manhattan. The bread was really fresh on this one, and the ingredients were high quality. It was very good. Yeah, I thought Court Street Grocers was number three. I liked it. Uh, I like the combination of the flavors together. I like the creaminess. I think it's more than blue cheese. It was probably a blue cheese dressing in with the arugula. Yeah. Now, we completely disagree on number one and number two. One. My, My number one. Yes. Her number one is Faco. She liked Faco. Yeah. We're standing just outside Greenwich Village in front of Faco's Italian Specialties. Now, Faco's was founded in 1900, so it's 123 years old as of today. And uh, they make all kinds of sandwiches. And let me tell you, ChatGPT, of all things, has been raving about their chicken cutlet sandwich. So I figure there's no way we can do a sandwich special in New York City without coming to Faco's and trying their chicken cutlet sandwich. So we're going to go in and we're going to try it. Hey, you can come in here and you can get all kinds of homemade Italian meats and cheeses and all kinds of specialties. And Food Network has raved about their meatballs here so much that you feel like maybe you need to go get a meatball while you're here too. Oh really? Yes. Oh wow. I don't know whether I should get a chicken parm or get one of the things with the broccoli, Rob. Well, that looks good. It's funny, I got the chicken parm and uh -huh. I got the, um, I think I got the one with the pesto. Uh -huh. Which one, did you like them? I or? haven't had any of them. Oh, okay. All right. Just order it. Oh, okay. It, but it's not gonna change a thing. Maybe you'll try to hide it. Pull down the curtain where the light comes in. Baby, we walked this road so many times before. But you won't waste up in my door. Yeah, maybe we'll fight about it. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah. I won't be down. And so I decided to do the chicken and broccoli rub here. I've heard that's really good. It is really good. Chat GPT's been raving about it. Whatever you get, it's going to be good. So. Yeah, we saw an Italian sandwich. That looked really good. Yeah, we, that sandwich is number one. Uh-huh. Just because we have to put one sandwich as number one. Of course. And that's the oldest one in here. So right. We call the Italian the number one. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's wow. It's the old generation. Oh, yeah. The first one, the uh -huh. second one, the third one. You did that's wow. The third one, the, the actual right now is the fourth generation. Oh my goodness. Still the same family. Yeah, I think we came here on a food tour a while ago, the walking food tour, and they, we got your meatballs, and they were really good. We got another store now in Florida. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Okay. 
We got ourselves a nice hot sandwich with chicken and broccoli rob. Just opening this up, you can smell the chicken and the garlic and the broccoli rob, and it all yeah. smells great Why together. So good? Yeah, every nothing's bad with garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. And it's fresh mozzarella with it too. Mmm. We have 600 chicken cutlets. Mmm. It's so good. That sandwich from Seiko's was really spectacular. The bread was super fresh and tasty. The chicken cutlets, they were really fresh, quality, very thin, fried, not greasy, just really good. And then the broccoli rub had this perfect taste of garlic and broccoli and the fresh mozzarella cheese on it. All together, just made a great combination. I would say this one is definitely a contender for the best sandwich in New York. Uh, I liked Faco, I thought it was number two. But we both enjoyed the chicken cutlets were fresh, they were not oh, greasy, so were crispy yeah. on the outside, tender on the inside, they were moist. And so mm. you had a lot of chicken broccoli in the sandwich. Rob. Broccoli oh, rob, which so was garlicky. made with garlic and olive oil in it. And it was really garlicky, it was yeah. really tasty, and it went really well with that chicken. And Young said Green she went pesto. in the back, she went in the back and saw them making it and they put like a pesto sauce on the it. Pesto too. sauce amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say that overall that sandwich, the, the yeah. flavors together, just amazing. Just the sandwich I ever had. That was really good. Yeah. Now for me, you know, Katz's, that's my number one. Uh, it really, you can't get that kind of pastrami sandwich anyplace else. The pastrami Katz's is without a doubt, in my opinion, the best pastrami in the world. I mean, it doesn't take much more than some pastrami, some rye bread, and some mustard, and you have what I consider the best sandwich of our trip. Yeah. Now, Young thought it was number two because she liked Faco's much better, yeah. but but she doesn't disagree with me that Katz oh, is yeah, number Katz one. Is really good. And and maybe we could say that Katz's and Faco was a tie for number one because I like Faco too. Look, the truth is, any one of those sandwiches. I would I would not complain yeah, about. Yes. They were all good. all good. I would get any one of them again. Okay, fellow food lovers and sandwich enthusiasts, this is going to wrap up our video for the best sandwiches in New York City. Now, if you think we missed one, make sure to tell us about it because we're gonna be back in town and the next time we're back in town, we'll probably try one of your favorites. In the interim, we hope you enjoyed it. We took you from the legendary and classic taste of Katz's, which I think has the best pastrami in the world. The exquisite Italian specialties of Faco's and Alidoro, the unique and artisanal creations of Alidoro and the absolutely mouth-watering taste of Court Street Grocers, which had some really good stuff. Everything they had was just wonderful. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Tell your foodie friends about it because maybe they'll enjoy it too. And who knows, they might be going to the Big Apple. Next time you're in the Big Apple, make sure to try one or all of these sandwich places. I'm gonna try all of them. And uh, make sure also, if you really liked it, hit subscribe. It helps our channel and you'll, you won't miss other videos that we may give you that are worthwhile. So definitely join us next time and thank you for tuning in.